damage, but this time they're not as aggressive. He could go for this kind of right in their face. It's gonna hit a Zon, maybe. Turn around, Narco! He has his AirPods in! Oh god, King Bob! <laughs> taking him down from behind, can't turn around in time, and that's too early for- it's... I haven't seen this kind of mobility since the Mimbo. Uh, speaking of mobility, Ruckus into the back line, looking for the Fury of Forces, they all vote. Oh. No. They forced the There's a space, yeah, that's the problem. Again, it's a chest thing. Fernando's just gonna hold and hold and hold, and Ruckus. He's gonna have to either dive or just find a way to survive and get value. He's on ult, he's in. And his finest are finally in. Dash, no discane, he dashes out. Ping pong with the Ruckus though. Ruckus is gonna go for the Leon. The Fury is low. Ruckus and Koga in on the back line. They are gonna get it. Azan dies on, looking to die on point. But Koga, dude, X man of holy headshots for the triple kill. kill. And they hold their W keys until the last possible moment, but when they do press them, they press them hard. Yes. And round out that. Oh. Let's pop it How out of the sap. Jandro's not there, Jandro's not No, the peel instantly comes in. Is it enough? The fear it's to get it off! Is. The fear to get it off! Huge plays coming out from the Domba. Mean stuff. Jeez, man. I mean, the Ram's doing his best. Gets punched off the map. <laughs> you fall with a punch? I. That was so disrespectful. Everything uh, there is. Better from blue team, but he can't find him around the pillar. He can't find him around the pillar. Looks like Ash is in trouble. Locked him in and hit the punch. Yep, this is there you go, pick. Ash down. That That's all you need. One pick. Mm-hmm. And the HP. Yeah. Is he is he sneaky? Do they know about that bomb king? Oh. oh no, uh, no trades. Wow. This He's is living. actually Look worse. Wow. Oh wow. Look That's at such... the healing. <laughs> I think that actually was worse, and Ash bullied again, that poor game yeah. was never gonna play that again. Right back immediately, no tanks now on the board, but Corvus, the one I thought was gonna be the weakest, is the first to pick up two kills. Engine their lanes, look at the HP bars on Grimes' teeth, they're solo, hit the Oh my god! What yeah. are you doing, Cody? What are you doing? Cody, what the hell man. is that, man? Strong keeps trying to back up slowly, but surely making their way out there. Instead, starting around and answering them, they have no idea that Tyra's in a wonderful spot, Cosmic with the double kill, doesn't find the triple, but at least manages to get three on the side of only chill. Huge pressure already, and that's the problem with Andro. I feel like you just have to get hit when you pick yep. Nesta. He's getting so much value though. Actually manages to pick a Corvus after getting headshot. <laughs> the Eevee saves him from his own demise there. Looks Could like Yak was just a big distraction. She didn't go inside the feed, which is what a lot of Yak players do. So fair play to that. Yak player knows what they're doing. Yeah, that's also on the team though. You see how fast they pulled up with that Yak. Yak was only yeah. one second ahead. Mm -hmm. Very correct. Got to go in as a team, guys. As you know, you can no longer just do it yourself with the core changes. Man, that takes away all of Kinesa's util. Like, look, Yag boops, boops the Kin, forces the TP, and then Arzen's already on Mutu. No TP to get out. The, the synergy's crazy for Mutu's team. I, that's what I was really looking at in the draft. And they can't even focus down this Yag because the boys are pulling up and covering it so well. In a draft perspective, it definitely makes sense to see what we said, but again, I think this looks like a more of a, like an experience, less skill thing. These these guys are considered favorites to probably win this as well. And they're looking like it, honestly. They're just up, look at them, controlling space. Bamba's having a field trip, just yeah, chilling on the pit with Neelan. They've really mastered like the new the new way to play Paladins, yep. really. Like, look at that Yag. You have, to, you have to swing so wide to shoot the Yag, but... The BK is not allowing it. He's oh, man, that's so much cover. I can't believe how much his Yag is doing. He's not even ulting yet. 92% ult for the Yag. Legit, I think he's just a big distraction. Not looking to do anything too much. Wow, there's so much spawn pressure. I mean, can can Red even get their ult? 65% for the co ult. They really need that for the next uh um... The Even Caspian's got it too as well, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Fernando as well. There's three big olds, definitely, as I said. They've recognized that this is their way back into the fight, so... They're probably gonna go max these items to keep back in the game, but... Alex is poking here, he's poking. Trying to get something on the Fernando here. Fernando's gotta be careful because the wreck is coming online and really forced him to go back here. An actual missed con off from Tarek, you don't see that every day. You don't. So, her is still moving, a hook. The Nando ought to bail him out now, the Nando himself is in trouble. k -Kronz, he doesn't want to let him get out of here. He's pushing real far deep, no ults for only chill. They do end up stabilizing, no, just kidding, it's nosy on the Betty. Wow. It is about to be over for Sophia. It could be. It could be the tournament here, boys. As they ended up, and someone's gonna have to charge for Sophia, it's only the Lilith right now. That's someone... a huge as well. She's not even going for it, is it over? 
In DPS, Eagle pops the rock all this celebration. The fireworks from Sophia, as you know, but they they don't lose, man. They just don't wow. lose. It's Sophia. They're the best team in the world. They don't lose, and they come away with a W in the Paladins Winter Cup.